and it is time for game number four here of the 2025 regular season. We went two and one against the Marlins in the first series of the season. If you missed opening day 2025, we'll go check that video out. Now, Jacob deGrom made his debut on the mound for the Nationals, and he had a historic performance on the bump. So now we're taking on the two and two New York Mets, who are going to be rolling up their fifth starter tonight by the name of Clayton Kershaw. Yeah, you would have saw it in the thumbnail. I mean, my goodness, Kershaw's on the Mets. Something I didn't think was going to happen. He was a reliever on the Dodgers. He said, screw that. I'm going to Queens and I'm going to be still making starts in the major league. So it'll be Josiah Gray versus Clayton Kershaw here tonight. We've also moved Christian Vaquero to the leadoff spot. Now he is struggling to start off the season batting .077 only through four games, but still we'll be batting him at leadoff and bet second, Soto third, and the rest of the order goes as usual. And folks, if you have not yet, make sure to that subscribe button down below for some more LB between to the show here on the channel. I think we're going to be bringing back Diamond Dynasty later this week, maybe on the weekend. We'll see about that. And also go make sure to go check out our second vlog on the channel between the Rangers and A's at that game at the Open Coliseum. Another vlog, it should be coming up pretty damn soon. And also, go make sure to follow Real Plays on all socials, Instagram at Real Plays YT, TikTok Real Plays YT, and then I guess Twitter too at Greedo Plays. But let's get into it here. Nationals and Mets from DC making the start tonight again for the Nationals will be Josiah Gray here at 4.68 last season 12 and 10 record over 30 starts for Gray he'll see Luis Guillorme first in the 2-2 and he's got Guillorme down look at on strikes fastball away get some one gone from Michael A. Taylor making starts now for the Mets in center field and Michael A is going to hit one into to left field there will be Christian Vaquero two gone in the inning for Giancarlo Stanton on the 2-2 two -two pitch Stanton hits one opposite field to right against the shift one Soto going back and he'll put away Stan we go to the bottom of the first where of course Clayton Kershaw on the bump lefty lefty to Christian Vaquero and Vaquero is going to get popped out on that 90 mile an hour fastball in the infield it will be Yorme one gun and here's your Nats lineup for tonight it goes as follows Vaquero bet Soto Reyes Bell House Lane Thomas still looking for his first hit of the season then Austin Martin then Hubert Ruiz Mookie Betts now up on the three two pitch the second baseman will walk on the slider away so Betts will be on first for the chosen one in Juan Soto, 2-2 two -two pitch, and Soto swings right through a Kershaw slider. Betts got to get back to first. He'll be safe. So two gone in the inning with Betts on first base for the former MVP and Fran Mill Reyes, and Reyes will get popped out on the slider there to take it. Will be the shortstop in Francisco Lindor. To the top of the second inning, C.J. Crone at first for the Mets. The former Rocky hits one right in between the shift. He splits it between Mookie Betts and Josh Bell. So he's going to be on it with a leadoff single. J.D. Davis now steps up on the 1-2. Davis going to hit one in the right. So back-to-back -back base knocks for the Mets. They'll be on first and second with no outs for Lindor. The switch hitter on the 3-2. Rakes one in the center, but there will be the lane train and lane Thomas. Runner at second will go. Probably going to beat the cut here. Brady House to third. Austin Martin. Runner is safe. C.J. Crone's in at third. So so they're on the corners for Mike Yastrzemski, but Yastrzemski, oh, he's going to hit one to Austin Martin, but the errors continue for Martin at third. He can't even make the throw to Key Ruiz. And it's 1-0 Mets. So Nervaez now comes up in the 2-1. He'll hit one to right field. Soto's got it. But again, it's the errors from Austin Martin at third base. I know it's a learning curve. It's a process. He's still the rookie of the year. It's the second season in the MLB, but he's got to start making some of those plays at third. I just... He's going to have to eventually, right? So we're going to get out the top of the second, only down one nothing. Leading off the bottom of the second will be Josh Bell. Kershaw is going to deal, but Bell is going to strike out on the slider. Down one gone for Brady House on the full count. House hits that perfect, perfect in the right center field. That one's going to get down. Brady House is going to have extra bases. He'll be on second with only one gone in the inning. Now the plate will be Lane Thomas against a left-handed pitcher. Lane on the 2-2. Two -two. Strikes down the slider. Two gone for the rookie of the year, Austin Martin. 3 1 pitch. Martin up the middle. That one gets through. He'll make up for the error he made earlier because Brady House should score. Oh my goodness, Michael A. Taylor with a good throw. But House is safe. 1 1 is now our score with Key Bear Ruiz stepping up on the full count. Martin running. Ruiz in a center field. That's caught by Michael A. But this game's now tied up at one. Both teams scoring in the second inning. We go to the top of the third, and Luis Guillorme is going to somehow manage to hit that slider on the ground to Austin Martin. Martin Abel, one gun in the inning for Michael A on the one two pitch. I don't know why Michael A. Taylor swing at that. Oh my goodness. Key Bear Ruiz with the jump throw. <laughs> okay. 
One of the most unconventional drop through strikes you are ever going to see as Giancarlo Stanton's gonna hit that one to center field. It is a high fly ball to Lane Thomas. We will now move to the bottom of the third. Christian Vaquero starting it off now on the 1-1. One -one. He'll hit the fastball into center field. That ball though will go straight in the glove of Michael A. Taylor. Good contact though by El Finamino. One gone for Mookie Betts on the 1-1. One -one. Betts perfect, perfect off his former Dodgers teammate. That one's out of here. Perfect, perfect on the fastball up and in by Mookie Betts. It's his first home run as a national. See you later. And it's off the former Dodger and Clayton Kershaw. What a way to get his Nationals career underway. Mookie Betts goes yard and puts the Nats up 2-1 here against the Mets. Juan Soto looking to follow in the 3-1. He'll hit one hard in the ground. The dive at short. I mean, it's a diving simulator. Francisco Lindor dives, he'll put away Juan Soto. Two gone in the inning for Fran Mil Reyes on the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider in. We go to the top of the fourth inning, not before Mookie Betts puts us on top 2-1. So we go to the top of the fourth inning. CJ Krohn gonna blast a baseball into deep left field. That ball, though, is caught. Tracked down by Christian Vaquero. One down for J.D. Davis in the 1-1 pitch. Davis in to left center. Lane Thomas gonna call off El Finamino. He'll make the play. Two down in the inning now for Francisco Lindor on the 1-1 pitch. Lindor right to first, and there goes Josh Bell. To make the play, so we go to the bottom of the fourth. Bell now at the plate on the 3-2 pitch. Bell's gonna hit that one into left field. It will be a leadoff single right now for the Nationals. So Josh is on for Brady House on the 2-1 pitch. House is gonna get popped out on the fastball, and CJ Crone is there first to put away House. And by the way, Brady House's future stars card's in the game now, which is cool. The thing is, he's not the best NL East player. Like, the Marlins guy's pretty good at that pack, and Bryson Stott's probably the best player in the NL East pack. So it's kind of tough that I probably won't even use Brady House in Diamond Dynasty. Anyways, Lane Thomas is going to pick up his first hit of the season. It's a double that moves Bella over to third. Austin Martin now comes up in the 1-1. He'll hit a curveball in a deep left field. There will be Giancarlo standing, but it's way deep enough to score Josh Bell from third. So the Nationals go up 3-1 off the sack fly by Austin Martin. Two gone in the inning now for Kibe Ruiz. Ruiz gets the curveball to right. That one's... Oh, I thought that was going to get down. It's caught in right by Yastrzemski. The Nats, though, out of the lead, 3-1, as Yastrzemski leads off the top of the fifth. Blasting that ball deep into center field. Lane Thomas, though, going back, and he's got it. So, no problem for the lane train in center field. One gone the inning for the catcher and Omar Nervaez. The all-star last season in Nervaez. Going to take great deep on a circle change. This game's now a one-run ball game, 2-3, to three for the former Milwaukee Brewer, Omar Nervaez. 397 feet, his first home run of the 2025 regular season. This this game's now three to two, and now Giorme can hit that one on the ground to Josh Bell. Bell's gonna put him away. That'll do it for the top of the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Vaquero gonna start things off with Kershaw still on the bump, and he'll strike out on the slider away. One gun in now for Mookie Betts. One, two, pitch. Betts gonna hit that outside fastball to center field, but it's gonna be caught by Michael A. So two gone now in the inning for the chosen one in one Soto. One, one, one's going to roll over right to first CJ Crone. So we go to the top of the sixth inning with the Nats up by one. Michael A. Taylor to the play on the two, one pitch. Can hit that circle change into center field. Thomas though is going back and he has got it. So Gray gets off to a good start here in the top of the sixth. Now the play for the Mets will be Giancarlo standing on the one, two, where are you swinging? I don't know. Going to get him on the slider. Two down for CJ Crone on the one, two. Crone swings right through a knuckle curve. Let's go to the bottom of the sixth thing. The Nationals looking for some insurance runs. Gray will likely see a seventh, but first Ramo Reyes comes up and he's going to get popped out in the circle change. So honestly, Clayton Kershaw's not doing a horrible job tonight. Really not. I mean, as being the fifth starter for this Mets team, Kershaw's not horrible. Only giving up three runs so far in six innings. Josh Bell right now is going to get popped out just like Fran Ram did. There's Francisco Lindor, two gone in the inning. Brady House will likely be Kershaw's last batter of this game. And on the 2-2 pitch, House is going to get popped out just like the first two. It's three straight pop-outs in the bottom of the sixth for Clayton Kershaw as we go to the top of the seventh. J.D. Davis comes up first and he'll walk. So Davis draws a walk and after a Francisco Lindor sack bunt, he's on second. So Mike Yastrzemski with one out, hits one up the middle. Brady House just doesn't even make a play for the baseball. Lane Thomas runs the wrong direction and the Mets tie this game up at three. Small ball to perfection right there. Nervias now comes up and he'll strike out on a knuckle curve. Two gone the inning for Brett Beatty and on the 2-2, two -two, Beatty's going to strike out on the knuckle curve as well. So this game is tied going in the bottom of the seventh. Of course, Kershaw's day is now done and Ethan Small comes out of pitch for the Mets. He's only pitched one game so far this season. Erie have 7.71. Let's take advantage and get back on the lead. So here comes Lane Thomas first and he's just way too early on a fastball. 
I mean, normally we suggest Lane Thomas kills this left-handed pitching there. That was not the case. Martin's going to stab one right to short, but there's Francisco Lindor. So two down for Kibe Ruiz, and Ruiz is going to pull a fastball. Deep left field going back on it, and left will be Giancarlo. He's going to stretch and make the play. So to the eighth inning, Camilo Doval now coming out of pitch for the Nationals, area of 3.54. Over 93 games last season, he'll be his first outing so far of 2025. Doval will see Luis Guillorme first in the 2-2 pitching. Guillorme is going to hit one right on the ground to his opposing second baseman in Mookie Betts. Betts to Bell, one gone in the inning for Michael A. Taylor on the 1-1 pitch. Matt hits one right on the ground, straight to Camilo Doval. Easy way to first, two gone in the inning for Giancarlo Stanton. Full count for him. He's going to walk. He's going to leave the slider away. So runner on first with two outs for CJ Crone. The power hitting first baseman in the 2-2 hits one back to Camilo Doval. What a play off the bump for the reliever. That does it for the top of the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Christian Vaquera up first for the Nats. And he'll strike out. He's way too early on a changeup by Small. One gone for Mookie Betts. And on the 1-2 pitch, Betts hits that changeup pretty hard in the center field. Actually, not hard at all. Going to be copping Michael A. Taylor. Two down now in the inning. 4 1. Soto, who's a silent 0 for 3 so far. And on the full count, Soto hits one to the right. There you go. Silent, no more one. Soto's going to be on with his first to the ball game, the sixth of the game for the Nationals. He's on first for Fran Mill Reyes and a 3 2. Reyes strikes out to the ninth. All tied up at three. G. Davis up first in the one two pitch. Doval still pitching for the Nationals, and he's going to get Davis to fly out into center field. There's our center fielder in Lane Thomas. One gun in the inning now for Francisco Lindor. The switch hitter on the one two count hits another one to center field. But Thomas is everywhere here tonight. He has got that one to gone now in the inning for. Mike Yastrzemski on the 1-1 pitch. The former San Francisco Giant hits one in the left. That one's going to get down. Yastrzemski might look for two here. Vaquero's got to get it in in a hurry. Vaquero is going to throw it a second because Yastrzemski's trying to take it. Oh, and a bad throw by Vaquero. Go ahead, run on second base. Genesis Cabrera now comes out of pitch for the Nationals. He was the reliever of the postseason last year. Can he get this one out and send us to the bottom of the ninth? Still tied 3-3. Omar Nervaez going to strike out of the curveball. Cobrera has been so good out the bullpen. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Time to walk this thing off, but that's not going to do it right there. Josh Bell is going to strike out. By the way, Ethan Small still pitching for New York. One gone for Brady House will be Small's 40th pitch, and House is going to get under that changeup into shallow right field. There is Luis Guillorme. Two gone now in the inning for Lane Thomas, and the Lane train hits one on the ground at third base. We've got extra innings here in the nation's capital. We go to the top of the 10th. Still pitching for the Nationals will be Genesis Cabrera. He'll see Brett Beatty first, and he'll strike him out looking. Fastball down and in, puts him away. One gone for Luis Guillorme on the 3 2. Guillorme straight on the ground. Austin Martin has got it from third. No errors. Oh, Okay, he'll make the play to gone out in the inning for a mat on the one to Michael A. Swag and a miss. Cobrera still dealing for the Nationals out the bullpen. Now we get another chance to walk it off in the bottom of the 10th, but Ethan Small is doing his damn thing on the mound right now for the Mets. Striking out Austin Martin. Now he'll see Kibe Ruiz, and Ruiz going to push one in the right field. They will get down. So Kibe Ruiz is on with the one-out single. Small has now exceeded that 50-pitch mark. Christian Vaquero's 0 for 4 on the night. He'll now be 0 for 5, flying out in the left. Two gun the inning, Ruiz retreats back to first base. Mookie Betts comes up on the one two pitch and he'll strike out as well. So we are going to the 11th, still 3 3. Jordan Hicks pitching for the Nationals. ERA of 3.66 last season. It's his first outing in 2025. And up first for the Mets will be Harrison Bader, pinch hitting, or actually came in as a defensive replacement for Giancarlo Stanton, but he'll strike out in the changeup. One gone for CJ Crone on the 3 2 pitch. Crone going to blast one into right field. He'll be on it with a one out single for the Mets. So Crone on first for JD Davis in the 1 1. Davis hits one of the ground. Austin Martin going a second to Mookie Betts. Betts to Bell. The Nats turn to as we go to the bottom of the 11th. Up first for DC will be Juan Soto. Soto in the right field. That one's going to get down. Juan might have extra bases. We're going to try it. Testing the arm of Michael A. Taylor. Juan Soto is safe. Soto's in at second for Framil Reyes. Winning run at second base. 2-1 pitch. Reyes hits the changeup. Deep left field going back on his Harrison Bader. That ball's up. And it's out of here. Walk off home run for Fran Mill Reyes. The former NL MVP delivers his second home run of the season, goes 402 feet in a deep left field, and the Nationals walk off the New York Mets 5 3.
A huge victory for the Nationals. Again, they failed to get their starter. The W Wheeling scored three when Josiah was in the game, but eventually in the 11th inning, Juan Soto hits a double. Fran Mil Reyes follows with a blast and a drive into deep left field. And the Washington Nationals now start off this 2025 season with a record of two and one, taking down the New York Mets who now fall to a record of two and three. And folks, thank y'all for watching episode number 64 of the Washington Nationals franchise mode here on MLB 22 The Show. If you haven't yet though, make sure that subscribe button down below for more a like if you are enjoying this series and also go make sure to follow us on IG as well at Grito Plays YT. Thanks again for watching. Mamba forever.